Island Sanctuary has a chance to become my new main activity in Final Fantasy XIV. Now before I explain why, you need to have a bit of context about Island Sanctuary from the media tour. Yoshi P and team have recently spoke to a few media outlets and content creators as part of the Endwalker media tour, and they've given away some more information about Island Sanctuaries. But I will quote PC Games N, who interviewed Yoshida-san on the topic. Yoshida-san basically said that since this is still under development, referring to Island Sanctuary, I am unable to provide many details. But this is not something like the Ish Guardian restoration where we expect players to combine their efforts and instead, we're aiming for something that allows players to casually play through on a solo basis at their own pace. Think of it as a mode that allows you to create your own space without the need to fulfill requirements set up by others or competing with other players. You can tend to your animals and crops, expand the territory on your island and let your minions roam free. As such, it's a mode through which you can enjoy the slow life. Okay, so let me explain why I'm so hyped about this. Firstly, Final Fantasy XIV has proven itself to me that it is a MMORPG that values casual play. And it already has a set of endgame systems that have already proven to be deeply engaging for casuals. The glamour system, while it has flaws like limited plates, etc., it is arguably the most comprehensive I've seen out of any MMO in the market. I mean, just think about dying each gear slot with different colors. That itself is a very deep rabbit hole. And they have shown that there's room in the endgame for people who are collectors, collecting mounds, collecting orchestron rolls, collecting minions, triple triad cards, playing mahjong, racing chocobo, and the list just goes on and on. Oh, and did I forget, there are people who are also very into photography and crafting. Those are deep endgames by themselves. Given their track record, I certainly would expect them to release some half-baked island sanctuary where people check it out for 2-3 to three weeks, grow some crops and basically stop playing. This is definitely not how they operate. It also tallies with what Yoshida-san said to PC Games N. He elaborated from the earlier quote that this plan actually started a while back as we had received much feedback from players who would like to have their minions roam free in houses and others who had wanted to raise animals in the game. We have reached the conclusion that we need to prepare a new mode to achieve this, as it was impossible for our housing features to accommodate this request. He then goes on to say that it was around two years ago that the idea for this mode surfaced. Although we had even expected to release it during the latter half of patch 5.x series, as we made progress in the development, the scale of the content was still halfway, and since we felt there were greater possibilities for this mode, we decided to expand the scope and release it during the 6.x series. Essentially, he's playing the long game here. I think the fact that he mentioned that they delayed the release to expand the scope and explore greater possibilities for the mode makes it a really promising proposition. They are planning something ambitious about it, and I can feel it. I definitely think that this can be one of the defining milestones in the Final Fantasy XIV title. In yet another interview with Mioni and Shenpai, Yoshida-san also said that this is meant to be an area to relax, and that you can call over your friends to the island and have a chat with them, or you can go visit your friends' island. He then goes on to imply that there's a focus on the house, the garden, and furniture, but you can also see this as a bit of a rank higher. There's a bit more broad things in the mix. So that to me implies that there's immense room for customization. Dare I even dream of landscaping tools and shaping of where I grow crops and what crops to grow, etc. In my mind, player housing is a really cool way to host friends and just hang out socially in a cool environment. But not everyone has the time or luck to lay their hands on a house. But imagine if each island is individually instanced. That would mean that everyone in Eorzea is entitled to our very own island to be shaped in whatever their wildest dreams can think of. And to me, that's a really exciting prospect because knowing how insanely creative this community is, I'm sure there'll be some really breathtaking design that awaits in the horizon. And as a side effect, it also resolves the complaints about how the housing system is very restrictive and how little supply there is. Just maybe. Anyway, being able to plant crops tend to your animals does sound a lot similar to hit games like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. Both of those games actually share very similar gameplay mechanics pertaining to crops and tending to animals. And the way I see it is it's a form of outlet away from the never relenting pace of life. Which I think is something that is very well received by a lot of people during COVID where many parts of the world are still on lockdown. Environments and game worlds like this provide a much needed avenue for escape, so I can definitely see a mode like that doing well in Final Fantasy XIV. I cannot wait to find out more about this game mode in Endwalker, hopefully in the final life letter before Endwalker, 
we will get a bit more information about this. And as someone who spent countless of hours playing the OG Harvest Moon when I was growing up, you can bet I'll be the first person on the scene to check this out. So make sure you hit the subscribe button like how I will be hitting the fields hard, sowing my crops eventually when it releases. There'll be way more Island Sanctuary content coming on this channel. And in my mind, I'm already thinking of spreadsheets to optimize crop growth and harvest, all of which I will share in due course. A shout out to my Patreon subscribers. Thanks for watching. And maybe one day I can see you on my very own island.